towards the end of page 10? Yes. Okay, great. So that means you guys have gone through all of the different questions that I tossed in to refresh your memory, to challenge your memory regarding some of the rules. And what I observed was that you guys were doing exactly what we're supposed to do when it comes to the written word. Question it. Talk about it. Ask the questions and toss out there, I'm not sure if that's right or not. And then become comfortable and stand in your own word. But then I also say, don't forget, cheat. <laughs> <laughs> cheat. <laughs> you guys had oh, so we much look at our conversation. You had great conversation. I say every yeah. professional needs to have on their library shelf the tools that they can refer to. Now you notice I have three, and most of these look pretty tattered. This is the one that I tend to use the most because I'm more of an academic writer. <laughs> you got your mobile phones, absolutely. I love the fact that, Sean, that you did that. You held this up, your mobile devices, where now you can go out and you can ask the question. Too many times we look at something and instinctively it doesn't look right or it doesn't sound right to us, and then we stop there. We don't go that step further and go talk to a colleague like you guys were doing. Or we don't go look it up. And when you do, here's the deal. But you got to remember what is some of these grammar rules have been the same since we first learned them when we were in grade school. Others of them, though, have changed because of the busy business professional. 